Hey guys, welcome to Teachers Off Duty Podcast. Today we're talking about Valentine's Day. Thank you for joining us today. We are so excited because it is the season of love. <laughs> and we love that we are joined today by Miss M's Closet. Hey, turn up. Do your jig. <laughs> do a jig. Yeah, do a jig. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, what's up, y'all? Y'all already know you follow me on TikTok and probably on IG. And if you're not following me on IG, like, get it together. Let's go. But my name <laughs> is Miss M, also known as at Miss M's underscore closet. I am a comedian making you laugh on your saddest days. Seriously, <laughs> I, I, see, I will scroll through your videos yeah. for hours because I just love hearing about Re- Leroy. Yo, Leroy. Leroy. <laughs> Gotta love Leroy. We all have a Leroy. Oh, everybody yeah. does. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, my. And, uh, and a fashionista, I found out. I love fashion. Yeah. I uh, love fashion. I was, in, uh, yeah, I was kind of jealous that you were like, you were in New York, you said? Yeah, I went to Parsons. The new school for design. Yeah, it's Fashion. where, yeah. It's yeah. where yeah. Project Runway was filmed. I mean, <laughs> can we hire you as our stylist? Yeah. <laughs> can that? Can we get her on the payroll? I, don't know. I feel like y'all are all pretty fashionable. Um, <laughs> I, she says my as wardrobe I'm in a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> consists of t-shirts and leggings. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever I wear jeans, I'm like, oh, I'm getting fancy here. Oh. I change out of sweats. <laughs> first of all. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Obsessed. So oh my gosh. I don't know about you guys, but for Valentine's Day, it's actually one of my least favorite holidays mm-hmm. of the school year. Yes. Like it's the most chaotic. It's yes. worse than Halloween. Yes. Oh, it's worse sure, than yeah. Christmas. Mm-hmm. I I would say for it's myself. Okay. Combined. It's yeah, candy and gift. It yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> and then loneliness. And then loneliness. <laughs> <laughs> I love some of the Valentine's Day stories that the kids will say. Mm-hmm. Like it's like in middle school. That's when kids start kind of like dating. Yeah. And it's kind of funny to sit back and just watch how they act because yes. it's so. It's you, I get secondhand embarrassment it's, it's watching weird. them like when a middle schooler is dating. Yeah. It's so funny. Like, let's let's say that we were like middle school dating. It'd be I like how you put dating in quotes. Right. Dating. It's not like really dating. <laughs> it's not, like middle yeah. school dating would be something like this be like, hi. And then I'd run away. <laughs> yeah. Like, that is middle school dating to I'm a gonna T. I'm going to stand by your locker in the hallway. But not actually talk to you. Mm-hmm. Then like, Yo. you, well, yeah, it's always so awkward and uncomfortable, but it's just kind of, it's like a train wreck. Like yeah. you can't help watching it. It's my, just pure entertainment. My students at the school I teach at now, they're, they live for the drama. Like they're- <laughs> Me I, I too teach, though. I, I love the students. Fifth drama. grade. <laughs> fifth grade. And they're like, that's so-and-so's boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever. And then I remember last year I had um, a student that came in crying and I was like, oh my gosh, what's wrong? Are you Okay. And they're like, yeah, my boyfriend and I just broke up. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, that has to be so you difficult. You touch your chest when you say Yeah. Oh. And then, and then they, the other couple of kids come in the room and they go, yeah, they broke up because so-and-so cheated on so-and-so. I'm like, in the fifth grade? Fifth grade. I'm like, yeah. okay. Oh, no, they start early. Yeah. yeah. And then they I'm like, hugged, okay, spill like the tea. Them hug I'm like, lunch, what, did yeah. they, what happened? They shared a marker. <laughs> yeah. 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 They let someone else use their pencil. I, it's I remember a public breakup at school and they did it in the cafeteria and then proceeded to ask out no. the next person all within like a five minute span and oh I had both of them in class the next just know that was a lot that was a <laughs> lot and like I still remember my science teacher in high school if we were going with somebody we could not be like uh, no. project buddies yeah. she mm-hmm. was like uh uh-uh, uh because y'all are gonna break up <laughs> and y'all are not gonna have drama in my class so she all, and I keep that rule to this day Yeah, I'm like if y'all call yourselves boo loving Separate. So separate. My, uh, separate. My, my dad was uh, my anatomy teacher oh. and it, in high school. And I took anatomy when I was in the 12th grade. And my high school girlfriend was in the same class as me. And he would let us pick our own seats. And uh, we, we went into class and we sat next to each other. And my dad, he would always do this. If anybody would be dating, he'd go, hey, okay, you two are sitting next to each other. We got to make a deal. If you two break up, we're not going to be awkward in the class at all. And you, you like, That's we're funny. so know now that if you break up, you can't make this awkward. And we're like, 
okay, we're not going to try to make it awkward. The irony so of sweet. not making it awkward when your father is your anatomy teacher. Yeah, that was that's what you. I was thinking about. I'm that like, was oh, fun. That's... Let's not make this awkward. It's like my girlfriend is in this classroom with me. My dad is the teacher. Yeah, that <laughs> was very, that was an interesting yeah. semester having I, that yeah. class together. That was <laughs> very interesting. Yeah. But one of my favorite Valentine's Day stories as a teacher, it was... Uh, I think I was a sophomore in college. I was working as, um, it, w- it was a program called AVID and okay. I was working in a middle school. I was, I was essentially like a, a tutor and like, it, or more so like an EA or a para in the room. Okay. And I had this class that, uh, oh, we had some funny kids. We had some funny kids. These kids, a lot of them were, um, uh, I don't know, EL, English language learners. Uh, and, English language, yeah. Um, so... One day, it was the day before Valentine's Day, mm-hmm. and the kids start coming in, and they're all just laughing at one of these boys, laughing at the boys, oh. and the boys really sad. And I asked them, I said, okay, well, what's going on? And their buddy's like, tell the story, Brett, tell the story. <laughs> and he's like, okay, fine, I'll tell the story. He said, well, I had this girl that I really, really liked, and I wanted to to buy her flowers and I wanted to give her like a bunch of Valentine's Day yeah. gifts. So Sweet. I decided to give her flowers. And I was like, hey, you know, tomorrow's Valentine's Day. He's like, yeah, I know. And then I was like, is that all that is funny? Like, that's not that funny. Yeah. And like, no, keep telling the story. And then he goes, okay, so here's what else happened. So I bought flowers, I bought a bunch of candy and I put it in her locker but I learned it wasn't her locker. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that and I just started dying laughing. So not That's only did awesome. he get the day wrong, he also the got locker the locker wrong. wrong. So some random person got flowers, got I chocolate. Can, Listen, but they had That's the so best sweet. day they that had a day. Great day. That is very sweet though. <laughs> that oh, is it was very so sweet. sweet. And he was so sad about it. And I asked him, I, I told him, I said, how do we make this right? Like, what can we do? And he goes, I don't want to make it right. I just want to be done with girls. <laughs> like that, that's, that's funny. So funny. That's Yo, funny. It's always Poor those kid. middle school heartbreaks that really define. Like when I see a grown They're person memorable. <laughs> that is having like love issues, I'm like, who hurt you in middle school? <laughs> like what, what What was the person's name? What did they do? What did they do? <laughs> did they publicly do that? But I also love when you're Leroy. So think about your Leroy students. Everybody think of one. Yeah. Uh-huh. Put it in your mind. My bad. That's a teacher move. All right. Put it in your <laughs> mind. Okay. Think about when your Leroy's get a person and they come and they're all super romantic and it's like completely out of their normal character. Yeah. And it's like, who are you, That's child? Funny. They come in with like bags yep. of gifts. It's like, and it's sweet and gross <laughs> all at the same time because you're like yeah. a child, but you're being really... Like sweet like romantic cutesy, getting yeah. gifts yeah. and chocolates and to it's your like, person and it's just I, like, I have that happening in my classroom currently. Okay. Ooh, like, gosh. okay, so there there is there's one student in my class and one student in the other fifth grade class that have been together since kindergarten. Whoa. I, I'm not even joking. <laughs> they say they, that out loud. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, yeah. The entire fifth grade knows yeah. because it's a small school and they're like, Yeah, that's so and so's girlfriend. Like they've been together for years. And like he actually like bought her like a nice Christmas gift and stuff and brought us to school to give her in like a, a nice 64 bag. Like a sixty-four pack of crayons. Is that yeah. a good <laughs> a build no, a Christmas um, gift? He got pack. her. He got Ooh. her. He got her slime. Oh, wow. yeah, that's, Which, actually a, that's, that's nice, a good gift. Yeah, that's yeah. a nice gift. And then <laughs> buy the ring. So then already? I'm waiting yeah. for yeah. what he's gonna get her for Valentine's Day. Ooh. But then the other one, I noticed my Leroy mm-hmm. started sitting by one of the other little girls in my room, and I was like. Hmm. What wonder what's going on there? He's just being like extra sweet to her and like being nice and always wants to sit by her and always wants to talk to her. And I, I'm like, mm, someone's got a little crush. Like mm. I don't ship students at all. Yeah, I think yeah. they're like, children. Uh, yeah, but like it's just like funny to watch it, it like happen because we've all been through that in our lives too. Haven't we? We don't have that in preschool, and right. in fact, yeah. the kids are like so and so is my girlfriend or boyfriend my like blanket statement and Rose like oh no you can't date until you graduate high school like, <laughs> I, like I, I say that all the time because it's the easiest way just like good... shut it down yeah. Yeah. and it's weird for people to be like oh my gosh these two these two five year olds like boyfriend girlfriend like, they're five yeah, and then it's like five. a virus and then it's got to spread to oh, all yeah, the sure. kids they all want to be involved in that no. so like Valentine's Day it's family whole, drama at that it point is. Yeah. Oh, oh it is the divorces oh on the plate can we talk about it and kids will tell kids will share Yeah. first of all you get invited to the wedding mm-hmm. and yes. you have to overlook the divorce in the same <laughs> recess period i mean it's the like child custody battles yeah and oh the battles you have yeah the 
I'm like, who? What are like, y'all so-and-so can't be so-and-so's friend anymore. <laughs> right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why? They got divorced. Y'all <laughs> talking about the kid divorces. I'm talking, like, I thought you were talking about the kids oversharing their parents' divorce. Oh, no, they do that, too. I'm like, I love hearing oh, my God. Drama. My mom is making my dad sleep on the couch for two weeks. And I'm like, okay, go on. Like, <laughs> like it's the tea. You're like, spill it. She, spill it, she baby. she was just being too close to our Uncle Rick. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I was like, I'm like, it's wild. Yikes. It's, it's, <laughs> I'm, I was around the Valentine's Day. Oh, it's around the Valentine's okay, Day. Okay, so was, something I do at school for Valentine's Day, because, like, I don't know if it, you guys did the Valentine's Day boxes oh, growing yeah, up. 100%. But like we we always used to, we would decorate the box ourselves, but it, like we would just get, like my mom would get aluminum foil and cover yeah. our shoe box and then you put like red and purple hearts all over it or whatever to collect your Valentines. Now, I try to make it like a little bit more unique mm-hmm. and I have them try to like do like a competition for the best box. Mm. Okay. And like they... Like, it's like a family project. So they'll, like, make whatever it is that they want. Like, one kid made, like, a dump truck. One kid made, like, Your a love's soccer garbage. <laughs> Your love's garbage. <laughs> That's <M>. funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. One kid. I'm not mature enough for these things. <laughs> one, no, but they, they make, like, really cute ones. One made a castle. Like, one made a cupcake. Like, they, they just make them items. And then they'll... But they change the structure of the box. Right. It's not so just it's a shoe box. Okay, so it's right. not like a square. Like, if it's a cupcake, it looks like, like right. a it looks, cupcake. It looks like a cupcake. Like a cupcake. This is okay, fancy. That's yeah, really so cute. then they bring them in, and they all, like, we all take turns passing out the Valentines. I forgot what they were called for a second. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, the, I mean, <laughs> but the bad story? thing about elementary school is that, like, you know, you always have a couple of kids that either don't make a box right. or don't bring in Valentines. So I always like have a bag mm-hmm. like they could decorate and then mm-hmm. they'll like have something to collect their Valentines. And then I get like boxes of Valentines from yeah. the store. I'm sure most teachers do that. A hundred percent. But it's like the the most chaotic energy in the world passing out Valentines. Like, Ooh. oh, yeah. They, the pure anxiety. I just buy a bag of heart um, lollipops and go on about my day. <laughs> mm-hmm. Everyone grab one. Miss, you know, Miss M loves you. No, I'm not, I'm not even talking about me passing out mine. Oh. I'm saying the kids. The oh, kids. For the kids. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, yeah. you let your... You let your kids pass them out. I mean, they're 10. Am I really going to be like, I know. I'll pass them out I, for you? I don't know. I think it's because my memories of Valentine's Day, I was old enough to, to yeah. do that. Or, you, you know, whatever. I can't even remember what it was. But yeah. To avoid the shoebox thing, we would do, we would purchase, they were just white, um, like, uh, gift bags. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we would, we would, I, it took hours and I would sit there and cut out, like, everyone gets, like, 12 red hearts, 12 purple hearts, these stickers, and you send it home and the parents decorate, like, like you do, like, it's a yeah. family thing. And then I buy extra cards. If a parent can't, you know, if the family can't afford it, then we have cards that kids can choose from. Mm-hmm. But I made the mistake. So what we do is because Head Start is a, um, it's a HIPAA violation. It's a health and human service. So mm-hmm. I can't give a list of the other kids. Right. Okay. And so the only way to uh, to go around that is, par- you know, parents have to agree to this, this, and this. Mm-hmm. I made the mistake one year of allowing them to, to write the names. To write the name. And that, not HIPAA uh, mistake, by the way. It was everyone yeah. okay to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The parents all signed off. But then I expected a three to five year old to be able to look at Barbara's name and then go find Barbara's bag and match that. Oh, they can't no. read their own name. <laughs> yeah. It took four <laughs> hours to <laughs> hand it out not exactly it literally took the entirety of their day excited split class and because it's a health and human service they can't have candy yeah so every Ooh. parent who put candy in, even though i told them not to i just sit there and then take out the candy of each thing and put them in the bag for oh. happy valentine's hours. day to you uh, happy valentine's i hand them out day. now yeah <laughs> that's I do well, that. okay yeah so like in fifth grade uh, like i sent home a note saying like yeah please don't put the names on it's inevitable. They always 100%. do. And yeah. then, you know, then you get the kids that are like, can I go pass out stuff to the ne- the other class? I'm like, no, <laughs> they will no. have their own no, stuff. You, yeah. you stay mm-hmm. here. <laughs> like, we're not all traveling by rooms. Like, I don't ever. And, but like these parents will bring like the most elaborate things yes. to pass out. I'm like, yes. thank you for that. Don't ever do it again. No. <laughs> no. I love like, when the parents bring like a huge like stuffed animal. Like you have like, I remember it was a girl walking around the high school with this. Bear. Giant bear. You remember like the movie <laughs> oh with Taylor gosh. Swift yeah. where he brought her the bit it was one of those like huge ones. So like the girls walking around with it and the mom brought it up and they took group pictures. <laughs> oh my and gosh. It was just like a whole I love when the I love love, but it's like 
the so I had the kids make a meme, mm-hmm. like as a do now. And one of oh, the I kids was that. like, I was like, what does this picture remind you? And it was like a, a happy one, hearts and stuff. And she was like, it reminds me that I'm lonely and that no one wants me to date them. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. As I'm grading it, I'm just like... So we're going to check in <laughs> as soon as I get everyone started on computer yeah. time. <laughs> you come okay. to me. We'll just do a quick little check in. <laughs> How do you do Valentine's Day like in middle school? Do you do anything oh. for it? Um, I don't. We don't. I like, don't. We don't. The kids, like if they're dating somebody or if they want to mm. date someone, because that's been a thing where mm. like someone already is with someone. Mm. So let's say we were together, mm. but like he wants me. <laughs> oh. Okay. So he would bring me a gift in front of you. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. That's some real housewipes yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah, the kids set up their own Valentine's Day yeah. parties and situations. Yes, and they do. Like, I, yes, I don't they, want to talk yeah, about Valentine's. That's the face it's, you should be making because, yes, yeah. they do. Mm. Yeah, what Especially high school. Oh, high yeah. School is, middle school is like, okay, you're pushing it. But high school mm. is like, you've pushed it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's bring it back and calm ourselves. What, I, what do you What do you do in that situation? I mean, I, th- watch. I think you just gotta, yeah. You just, you just watch. Yeah. I think yeah, you just say ew just and across be like, the room. ew, and separate. <laughs> uh-huh. And just don't do that. Because they're like that arguing for That sounds terrifying. Oh, when they argue, oh, the arguments in high school are epic. Yeah, Like, yeah. you know when someone broke up because they're either, they either walked in separately. Yeah. And it's like, oh, today's the day. And then that's the news for the yeah. day. But I'm saying, like, you yeah. watch the fight happen? Or uh, what? The, oh, like, so, if, like, you, like if you, between... So usually it, it starts off calm. The fight's going to happen later. It's never, oh, like, in the moment. Because yeah. that was a very petty thing that you did there. To, like, you know... That I'd I'm watch that. I don't know. So. Yeah, I was like, I want to watch the fight happen. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, I don't break the fights anyway. Right. So. Yeah, really. When I was teaching high school, it was always interesting when you knew that somebody, a couple, were dating. Yeah. But then you would see the other one of the people, like one of the couple, you know, one of the the members of members the of the relationship. Of the they'd mm-hmm. be flirting with somebody else, In your class. and you, I would, you'd sit back and watch, be like, huh. I see what's going on here. Like, yeah. I know what you're doing. And then after a while, you keep seeing it. And then you see the breakup happen. And it's just a total tragedy. Yeah. And then as a teacher, it's like, oh, I saw that coming the entire time. Like, I should have yeah. told you, but that'd be weird coming from your teacher. Yeah. But do they ask you, like, has someone ever come to you and be like, hey, is so-and-so talking to someone? Because that's happened to me before. Shut up. And that's yes. happened to you? No. Like, that's happened. They want to get you involved. First of all, we know all the tea. Yeah. Right. Like, oh, yeah. I know that... I know that your person drops you off at this class, but I also know that you have a person in this class that that person doesn't know about. Yep. And mm-hmm. I still remember a person coming to me talking about, um, so Miss Elm, like in class, I was like, I don't, I was like, I don't really I don't remember. I don't see that, yeah. you know, I'm not in the drama, no. but I just want to watch it unfold. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's reality television. It is. Where it's, oh. yeah. Dude, it's, it's classroom cool. relationships, it's the best reality TV to watch. Yes. It just happens, and there's so much emotion involved in it. Yeah. And you just sit back, drink your coffee, and just watch the show. Yeah. It's so entertaining. That's because so I get like, okay, so like after school, I would have, um, like, be- we changed our dismissal, but before I used to have the after school kids who would wait in my room until they could go up to the program they have. Yeah. And um, it was like a couple of the sixth grade girls that I had last year. And they would come in with like little notebook paper and pencil pieces Mm -hmm. and they would write like they would be writing notes. I'm like, what are you doing? And they're like, I love so and so. and I'm going to put this in their locker and we're going to be married. And like, Uh. like legit, we're like setting up their plan for their future. And I'm like, all right, girl, don't hinge your whole future on so and so. (laughs) I'm like, like, just you know, just worry about yourself right worry now. Worry about yeah. school yeah. and like, you know. You have to like, keep it 100. I'm like, yeah. you don't, you you don't need a to. boyfriend. Have right. you ever had a parent give you a Valentine's Day gift? Yes. Yes. You, really? Uh, like in a weird like, way? I was gonna say yes. like in what way? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're just like, yeah. in a yes. weird way. Nah, I so haven't. So all your questions. Yes. 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 Tell <laughs> us about it. It's, yes, I tell me. So yeah. just gonna, yes, that has happened and it's it's weird and it's awkward and then you just have to, you have to set those boundaries because maybe they just weren't set and maybe you just didn't see them. So let's let's paint the boundary <laughs> yep. into a color that you can yeah. visibly a see. A yellow fluorescent line. <laughs> that says no. Yeah. No. It's reflective. Because the score like... rule is that you can't talk to a parent like that. 
or whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's the rule. Yeah. Or whatever. And yeah. so, but even if it wasn't the rule, like, that just should wasn't, be the rule. Yeah. That, like, that wasn't. That's not something you would do. That's not the vibe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was, I hope that's not what you got during parent teacher meeting. <laughs> like, right. that wasn't, we were talking about how to get the grades up. <laughs> yeah. not, right. I was not hitting on you in the conference. How did it go from there to there? I was talking about like, test scores. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. So, what about you? What's your story? <laughs> It, it, it is funny you brought up parent-teacher conference because uh, the the mom and the grandma came in and the grandma was speaking Spanish to the mom the whole time and she was mm-hmm. like, he's cute. And she's like, mom, stop talking. And she kept saying, oh, no, he's handsome. I mean, he likes kids because he's a teacher. And she kept saying that. And she was like, he understands you. And the grandma just, and then she looked at me and had said something. And I was like, I, I, the entire time I've known what you've been saying. And she was mortified. Oh, my mortified. gosh. And I don't know how that, the, the mom being mortified that her mom's talking that I'm mortified too translate to the mom buying me like a gift card and like flowers and stuff for Valentine's Aww. Day. And I thought, what about this is not <laughs> reading straight? <laughs> <laughs> like, um, n- no. And I felt horrible because it was, it was nice. Yeah. And I thank you so much. That's very sweet. And then just like didn't address it after that and like made sure the other co-teacher was the one doing the next like parent teacher conference because we would flip the, yeah. our, mm-hmm. the kids that we had. And I was like, it was just uncomfy. Yeah, it's yeah. Just, I don't yeah. Need I've that. never been given like a physical gift on Valentine's Day or for Valentine's yeah. Day by a parent, but like there have definitely been times where like I've been uncomfy by yeah. like what a parent mm-hmm. has said to me, <laughs> and it's like the but the worst part, like I mean, there's multiple worst parts to it, but like <laughs> for one, I'm married, obviously. Right. Right. Two, you're married, sir. Well, <laughs> well, and it, and it's just like. Just things I would be like, okay, because then you'd go, you'd leave the situation. You'd be like, okay, am I reading too much into this? Yeah. And then you sit back and you're like, no, no I would never talk to another person like that because I'm married. <laughs> and they're your married. child's teacher. Right. Yeah, right. 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 <laughs> I would, I'm like, nope, I wouldn't do that. So no, I think that was inappropriate. I, I, think had, that was I had a student yeah. come to class once and it was Valentine's Day and the parents were freshly divorced mm-hmm. and the kid was just an open book, would always mm-hmm. share all, all the personal stories stories yep. and, and uh the kid comes in and it was right in the morning and they go oh my mom told me that i was supposed to give you a valentine's day gift from her but i think that's gross so i'm not gonna give it to you and i just sat there processing it like right away in the morning yeah. it happened and i just sat there and i said oh okay thanks for not giving me the gift i appreciate it right yeah. and after that I made sure that I had very little parent uh, communication. That was really weird. Yeah, that was weird. But shout out to that kid who recognized it. The kid set the boundary. No, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. The The kid was like, I'm having big feelings about this. (laughs) Yeah, you're right. I I don't like it. (laughs) Um, Do y'all remember your middle school and high school? Uh Oh, yeah. Like when I see the kids in love in middle school, I remember when I was in love. In middle school, and I still, <laughs> I still think about it um, to this day sometimes. But I'm like, I we were together for three months, which was it, is a was long it traumatizing? Time. It was because okay. like marriage. we that's that's I middle school marriage. marriage. I yeah. thought we were getting married. I remember we had it all set up because his sis, I wasn't allowed to date, so his sister would call my dad's house and Tricky. play like we were yo kids are sneaky oh yeah because yeah, i was out here doing that and so <laughs> sis, sister dad would be like oh your friend's on the phone and then as soon as my dad hung up i'd be like hold on wait 60 seconds because sometimes he likes to hold on and then we would talk for like two hours me and the guy and we were together for three months and i really thought we were going to get married Aww. and be together forever i remember i used to write his name on like Did he dump everything you? Um, he, cheated, you he cheated on <gasps> me oh, oh that dirty <laughs> little creature break. i wasn't um in the mature level that he was. He was. <laughs> Wait, was he in the same grade still, as you? I was still kind of like I was still very like I'm just I was a baby. Child. I was just a baby. Yeah, right. <laughs> I wasn't doing that it's kind of stuff. You hug um, somebody at the football game. That was the nail in the coffin. The hug, that was the hug. hug at the football game. Yeah. yeah. I wish it was a hug. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, when I was in middle school, <laughs> I forgot about this. I just remembered it. Oh, my uh, my first middle school relationship in sixth grade, we were at a football game, and I was sitting next to my girlfriend at the time. And, of course, we didn't say a word to each other yeah. because yeah. middle school relationships. Yeah. Yeah. And she left to go get some food, and I turned to my buddy. I said, hey, at the end of the football game, you should dare us to hug. And he I said, know. Oh, that's yes. so cute. He said, yeah, I'll definitely do mm-hmm, it. Mm-hmm. And the that's... football game happened, and he goes, hey – I dare you two to hug. 
and I looked at her and I gave her the most awkward hug ever. It was one of those like, boom, done. Like that was it. The hug lasted maybe half a second. And when I left the football game, I was on cloud nine. Yo, oh, yeah. I, I did was yeah. he, he changed his away Every... message on AIM. Oh, Yo. I was like, oh AIM. Yeah. Yo. I, I started like looking at rings after MySpace. that. Hug. <laughs> no, top AIM and MySpace. 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 Oh. Changing your top. To something Not else. even that. MySpace and AIM were like they changed relationships yes. entirely. Yeah. Yes. But okay, so like I'll get into. I, I listen. I had trauma at every grade level because <laughs> I was just I was just <laughs> a person just like, look looking for a another person. <laughs> No. <laughs> unpack this for me. Yeah, no, let's so unpack that. The, the, the funniest memory I have of like getting my heart broken was in first grade. And oh. I I there was this this boy named Joey. Okay. Joey. And, yeah, Joey. That's and name. he was really cute and I swore I was going to marry him someday. But those are your inside thoughts and I let them out. And you shouldn't do that. Not in first grade. Not in, not in, not in first so, grade. I'm gonna so, guess they weren't super articulate. Yeah. <laughs> like the first grade. She's like, you want me? Are we? <laughs> so, so we're in line. I remember we're in line to like go home that day or whatever. And he was in front of me. And I just tap him on the shoulder. I go, we're going to be married someday. With and no he, blinking? No. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he looks at me and goes, <laughs> and just turns around because you're six. Right. And then he never said anything else to me again. Oh, he moved. He schools. went home and told. Oh. He, he went home and told he his did people. Move oh, he went, no. No, he I'm w- not even kidding. He you. went home and told his people. I'm not even did. kidding you. He, he not not in that year, but he did move schools to the to the different school district, like across town. Oh my but I, gosh! I mean, that's just ironic, right? Like it wasn't because yeah, no, of me. Yeah, it was, no, 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 no. Of, of no, course, you're of his course trauma. not. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that, that was, was my childhood like memory, and I look back at that, and I've seen him since then. Like I've seen him, and and he he's married now. I'm married now, oh but it's God. just funny because like I'll just be like, oh hey Joey, what's up? And like totally just <sighs> forgets about oh, that no. whole situation. That, like. Just, <laughs> just forgot about it. Uh, like it you, yes. you all were talking about uh, MySpace, like the top friends and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, a little bit younger than you guys. I don't remember that. Yeah. But yeah. what Shut I up, remember game. in right. high school. Like, thank, <laughs> thank you for that reminder. When I was in high school on Snapchat, when you could see the top five friends. On everyone's list. That list. was yes. Bonkers. Yeah. See, so yes. that, that was yeah. wild because Snapchat's like Snapchat's just airing everything out. It does. Right? Uh-huh. But they were letting you know that twenty four hours. Yeah, they're yeah. snapping these people. Oh. Yeah. yeah. But the, what was so dramatic about MySpace is you chose. That's yes. wild. Yeah. You, you made chose. a choice. Yeah. yeah. Like the other ones, like I can't help me. if they're snapping me. No, you no, chose. You chose to move me from mm-hmm. your top ten. Right. Yeah. If your friend pissed and you we're off, we're not friends anymore. <laughs> right. And it was like, oh, I just like I just had to move things around. No, you didn't. No, Leslie. Yeah. You didn't. Yeah. But it would be petty that you wouldn't move them off of the top eight. You just move them down down one yeah yeah and that's really yeah. like you dissed me so now i'm gonna diss you back and yeah. you're now number seven it was on my personal top too like when your friends started dating someone and then they would switch over i'm like mm-hmm. okay. yeah, um, yeah. or they would move a different like even a best up. friend situation yeah. they would move yeah. like their be- their new best friend yeah. in front of your face yeah. and you're like and you, just, you just casually go to their page one day and you're just <laughs> down at the bottom right. uh-huh. <laughs> oh, yeah, amongst casually. their floating letters that are coming down their screen a schedule list Check no. Tana's at four, Stephanie's at six, Zach's seven, and you just watch. Oh that my God. feature, I, I swear when they came up with that, they all sat in a boardroom and said, hey, what's the most toxic feature we can possibly come mm-hmm. up with? Mm-hmm. Oh, let's rank our best friends. Yeah. Yes. yes. And then, great <laughs> and then idea. And Snapchat's like, I see your ranking, and I'm going to just expose. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Expose, I, yeah. I expose I you to everyone. This, Listen, this but, was a little shady. Oh, little, let me hear this shady oh, story. I love, shady. Okay. I love some shade. Yes. My friend did this. Definitely me. Um, so <laughs> I remember in high school with the 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 top five on Snapchat. Yeah. Um, there, I was in a relationship, and then there was another girl who was casually snapping me and didn't have the best reputation at the high school. And all okay. of a sudden, she was my number one. Oh. And I remember telling to all my like my buddies, I'm like, "Hey, you need to Snapchat me a bunch so we can bump everybody else down, so I don't have to deal with this." And they said, "You know what? 
No. We're not going to do that. We want to watch you <laughs> we suffer. We want to watch this play out. It's called accountability. Friends, friends, right. there friends we go. are there to build Buzzword. you up, but best friends are there to tear you yeah. down, and they tore me down. Oh, they yeah. wanted to watch it Maybe. happen. Like babble. Boom, 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 boom. Just okay. watch it. Um, no. no did, the, bu- the bulletins on MySpace. <gasps> yes. Oh, my gosh. Why don't I Listen, totally I really thought that. I did something. Okay. When I was in... Um, when I was in ninth grade, I had my first like serious boyfriend. We were together for three months, so we were we were getting married. Mm. Yeah, and oh, absolutely, yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, like he was on the football team. I was a cheerleader. It was like you know, it was meant to Perfect. be. Yeah. yeah. No, and he was just so toxic. So like after three months, like he just broke up with me for no reason, and then started dating this other girl. Mm-hmm. And I put this bulletin on MySpace, like <laughs> I was like. So and so, no one deserves your heartbreak. I can't believe Wait, you've you done this With to me. Voice? Do you say his name? <laughs> Did you put his name on the book? Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, I called him she out. She wasn't even oomphing it or no, whatever. No, 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 no. I called him out and I, I put this, it was like a huge long post. And then all these girls he had dated in the past were like, yeah, me you too. get him. Yeah. Yes. And, yeah. and then he, he messaged me after the fact and was like, we can be. We can get back together. I'm sorry if you just take the bulletin down. And my dumb self was like, okay. And then, because <laughs> like, I was 14 and so stupid. So was it four months now? Uh, no, it was like an extra week, and then we broke oh, okay. up. Again. It was just that Three weekend so that it would I, get taken down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, taken down. yeah. He played me. <laughs> that's, that's, yo, my mom still brings up my first high school boyfriend that I wasn't supposed to have. We took pictures. You remember the little backgrounds? Mm. Yeah. You can go to the yeah. mall and take yes. pictures. Yeah. We took pictures because um, he oh bought gosh. me a teddy bear, and my mom still she brought it up over Christmas break. She was like, "You remember that guy with the neck that um <laughs> with the neck <laughs> that you took those pictures <laughs> with, with the neck." neck. And I'm like trying to forget these things, and I'm like, no, I don't remember. It was from that his neck. <laughs> it was just. There was a lot of neck going on. It was just, Why is that his it descriptor? Because it wasn't there. Oh, it was anti neck. Oh. Oh, anti neck. Oh no! Was, but like it, in the picture, you could really see it. One of these. Because yeah. like, we picked a heart background. Oh, oh it's, it's oh. too cute. And we um had matching uh like shirts. No, like, you we, didn't. I'm we did. With and um, oh, no. do you yeah. remember that? Do you know that guy on TikTok that like does the Disney Channel remakes? He goes more neck. Yeah, like that's what that made me think. That's of. what you thought about. <laughs> Because you, you said the guy with the neck, and I'm like, what she is wrong with br- this it's neck? It's like, mom, let the ex just die. Let it die. Let let it die. Go away. I mean, I dated Ish, but like, I, I am a little... Listen, my love you know, life. So like, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't date when I was in school, so I remember like the closest, the closest thing to, you know... Because you, you definitely wait. Tell you're gay. I am a As little bit. No, a little bit. <laughs> just like crazy. a little. Like most people. Wait, don't does your know that. does your husband know? He's unaware. He's um, unaware. He will okay. know now. <laughs> okay. um, he's, yeah. go- he's about to find out. And okay. um, Jason, I'm sorry you have to figure out this way. I am a therapist, though, if you need it. That's not- <laughs> um, so I remember being, I had Batman uh, Valentine's Day cards because I was yeah. obsessed with Batman and Robin. And it was in Mr. Schrock's second grade class. And I had a huge crush on one of the, the, the guys in it. But, like, you can't say that. It's not, a, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, like yeah. and I don't think I even knew what, like, a crush on a guy was, you know, because mm-hmm. that like, wasn't allowed. So I was like, I think he's just my best friend. Aww. And so I gave him my biggest, because you know how they always had, it was always super toxic. There was always one big card in the pack. Mm-hmm. Like, the, there was, like, one or two that were bigger than all the other yeah. ones. And I gave him the big one. But everyone knew that if you're giving them the big card, it means you like them. And so I gave that the big one time and I remember them making fun of it on the playground and I was like I'm never gonna fall in love again and I was like I was baby tell baby second grade tell you gotta talk to a therapist about that I need to yeah that's like you ever just talk to yourself in your head now that you're a therapist I need to talk about some serious stuff today second grade Batman card it was the big one yeah it was the big one I remember the first date I went on in middle school I went to Toy Story 3 and <laughs> oh, God. Like, like what is like, when I Wait, was, that was, when was I was in a, middle school? That yeah. was in middle school. God damn it. That was, that was, was, that was when adult. I was going to college. I was Are you serious? Because listen, oh, Toy no. Story. We went to watch it together. Toy, Toy Story came out when we were young. And yeah. then it grew up with us. Same yes. with like Monsters, Inc. Monsters, Inc. Yes. Did the and same. then they went to university. And then they went to Monsters University. <laughs> so like when Toy Story 3 came out, I don't remember the year, but we were like, like 2012. You know, that was when I graduated Ish. high school. Yeah, so we were, I was graduating high school we when Andy was teacher, going to college. Right. You <laughs> young child you. Graduating right. college. Yeah, we were, it's like okay. a, we were adults. Okay. So, so wow. teaching. 
<laughs> so I went on this date and uh, I told hey, my, Gabe. I told my, I think I was a sixth or seventh grader and I told my parents, said, hey, I want to go to Toy Story with, her name was Becky. I want to go to Toy Story with Becky. And my parents said, uh, you're not going to go by yourself because you are 12 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, you can go with your brother and his friends. Mm -hmm. Said, okay, that sounds fair. And when, when uh, so she comes comes to town, she was living out of town, comes oh. to town. Oh, oh. Yeah. 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 She was a She was, long she was, she was an out of town girl. Did the kids cards. at school believe you that you had a long distance girlfriend? <laughs> Named Becky. <laughs> Named Becky, <laughs> right. Yeah. Do we believe you? Is Becky in the room with us now? <laughs> yeah, she's right there. <laughs> he, he gets out his Velcro wallet, I swear pulls she's out a real. model photo. Oh, this I is her. I swear she's real. <laughs> but uh, so we go to the movie and we walk in to sit down and I, my brother is a year older than me yeah. and I sit with my brother and his friends and Becky sit next to me oh. and uh -huh. my brother goes, hey, why are you sitting next to us? Go sit like up there so you can hang out with her. I said, no, I don't want to do that because what if dad comes to the movie and sees that we're, that we're sitting alone and he looked at me and he was like, Dad is not going to show up to the movie. Go sit with yeah. your girlfriend. <laughs> and then it was really awkward. I remember putting my arm around her and it was like the most robotic little move that I did. Aww. And once I, well, no, don't, not going to be on in a second. I just sweat too. Yeah, yeah. I was like, so I put my arm around her and right when I did that, she got right up and hand. went and got a soda and I <laughs> no longer put my arm around her because of it. That was where it being like, well, I want to hear more about your guys' little trauma traumas it, you, can we have can we have like a oh my gosh okay i'm scared all right, all right so the game. so we have a fun game planned where our producer devin is going to ask us questions about our personal lives and, and valentine experiences <laughs> and love lives and we have to answer it to earn a cookie yeah or if you don't want to answer it, you don't get the cookie get the and cookie. you have to pass it to someone else. Why did you say that part so aggressive? I love the cookie. <laughs> because you don't, <laughs> you don't, no don't cookie. get a cookie. No cookie for you. <laughs> Gabe, do you want to start since you have long arms? Yeah. yeah. Use those long arms to grab legs. the cookies. <laughs> like the TikTok Yeah. <laughs> How should we do it? Do we all get a cookie in our hands? No, we'll just pass it. Yeah, we'll just pass, pass it. We'll start with you. Go. Okay, yeah, we'll just pass the container. All right, Devin. Uh, so let's start off with Gabe, I guess, in this. And let's start off with, have you ever had a thing for one of your admin? Oh. <laughs> That's a wow. weird one. De definitely not. <laughs> Do I eat a cookie because yeah. I said no? Yeah, you get well, it. That's a cookie. Well, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me mark that one off as well. Well, yeah. <gasps> well you know, I'm just like. That was a heavy hit right that off the bat. That was a very heavy hitter. It was. I thought you were going to like soft for all the jobs. No. That was yeah. a very strong first all question. All right, <laughs> Lauren. Yes. Let's see. <laughs> Do you secretly enjoy the students' drama about dating and breakups? I mean, what teacher doesn't? True. Like, mm -hmm. let's be real. Um, Yeah, it's an entertaining for sure. Very entertaining. I like, love it. I love it. I like, <laughs> do I secret or enjoy? No, I outwardly. It's not a, right, I, would, I actually say the words out loud There's no so that way there. everyone knows While they're crying. that I love I'm it. enjoying yeah. this breakup. I'm, I'm sure. I, right. I'm just like that's crazy. I told you about that two months ago. <laughs> do you have any good stories about classroom drama? Oh, um, just the cheating one. Like, yeah. the the two kids in my room that were dating, and then one came in, and the other one was like so-and-so cheated on so-and-so with this person. And I'm like, cheated how? You're 10. Yeah. I'm, I'm assuming it was like they held hands yeah. or something. They ate yeah. lunch together. Yeah. I don't know. They I don't held know. eye contact for they longer smiled. than 10 seconds. They right. yeah. smiled at each other. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that looks like, but they cheated on one another. Oh, God. Wow. Wow. In the DMs. All right, Em. Mm -mm. Let's see. Have you ever called in sick to stay at home or in bed with your significant other? Whatever you would call it. <laughs> That's right. So at my like, a long time ago, not, in a galaxy not far, far away, principal. Um, <laughs> I'm always at school. Um, no, I actually have never. I've never. We all have jobs. Yeah. So no, I've never done that. <laughs> we we have work to do. DC, ap DC apartments are very expensive. Yeah. <laughs> True. Uh, tell. Have you ever stress eaten chocolates in your classroom <laughs> by yourself or just candy? Yes. Okay, this is hilarious that everyone that I used to teach with is going to die. We got these giant Hershey bars. 
giant Hershey bars. It was a really stressful day. And so we had gotten them. Maybe an hour later, we all go outside to recess. We had adjoining classrooms. Mm -hmm. We go out there and I finish the last bite and I throw it into the trash. And they were like, did you finish that candy bar? I said, yeah, I was shocked. Apparently, you don't. Not everyone sits there and eats this maximum size candy bar in one sitting. Is it like one pound? It's usually you just yeah, you just take one of the rectangles. Okay, well, this isn't an X lax. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. There's no, there's no, you know, prescription how much chocolate to eat. I'm just gonna. I eat oh, all actually, of it. there is on the back of the packaging. Size. It says, it says oh, well, it says serving. It's like it's like you should, like you know maybe you should do that. No, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat the you whole thing. You should do your actually, I'm plans. pretty sure it says Please nutritional turn them facts. In on Monday. <laughs> it says, nutritional facts. Do not eat the whole candy bar. I mean, your objective on the board. I think that's just a suggestion. It's yeah. just a suggestion. Nutritional suggestions. <laughs> uh, okay, perfect. Let's see, Gabe, for you. Have you ever walked out on a date or had a date walk out on you? <laughs> oh, yeah, I've definitely walked out on a date. Um, all right, so what I'm going I'm to share the story. <laughs> this is really bad. This is oh, no. not the way to do this. I, yeah. I can't stress this enough. And Don't Tia, if it. you're oh. listening to yeah, this. I apologize. This, sorry, Tia, this was really bad on my part. Disclaimer. <laughs> but So this is what happened. So I was going to college. And I ended up, uh, this girl slid in my DMs and we kind of hit it off, started talking to each other. And she lived in a town that was like two hours from where I live. Oh my live. gosh. Mm -hmm. And totally. she was like, hey, I would love to come up and see you sometime. I said, yeah, come on up. Let's do this. It'd be cool. So she comes up. It was a, it was a Saturday. Yeah, it was a Saturday. And she comes up. And when she gets to my house, she was just really awkward it was mm -hmm. just really awkward like we weren't hitting it off it wasn't yeah. going well and the plan was she was going to stay the night at, at at my place and we go then to have have dinner and she's sitting on her phone oh. the entire time oh, she's on no. her phone she's scrolling it's not like hey i gotta send a quick text yeah. it was scrolling yeah like she, not even trying like, to yeah, like, not even converse trying. you weren't yeah. even there yeah, not even trying and I just remember sitting there thinking, I can't do this for 24 hours. No. I can't keep doing this. So I came up with the genius idea. Okay. I pull out my phone. I change a contact's name. No. Um, Dang. I, I texted my, my friend. I said, hey, you need to call me in two minutes. I changed their contact name to mom. Mm -hmm. uh, and I had my phone sitting on the table like this. And two minutes go happens and I my phone rings. And I go, oh my gosh, my mom's calling me. And I pick it up and go, wait, what happened? What? <laughs> and I walk out and I stand out front of of uh, the restaurant and my friend, they're like, what is going on? I said, I just need to get out of this date whatever i go back in i sit down and i say hey my grandpa is in the hospital <laughs> I, oh, just I said oh, my, my grandpa's God. in the hospital i gotta go i'm so sorry uh maybe we can do this another time and she's like oh i'm sorry that uh, that sucks like yeah let's do this again i really enjoyed it like <laughs> you didn't enjoy it you didn't <laughs> and, and that night that night was the night that Conor McGregor was fly, fighting Floyd Mayweather, and I you put I put on my Snapchat story. Yay, I said I, I uh, we were having a, like a viewing party. On no. I put a snap on my Snapchat story, and I said, "Hey, fight night party, ten bucks to to watch the fight." Gabe, uh, wow. at, my, at my grandma's hospital room. <laughs> Yo, like, I, was, and, oh. I was so with you. I was like, "Man, he planned oh, that no, out." And no, no, I almost put it together, and then after that. That happened. I put it up. All of a sudden, my phone starts blowing up, and I get called every name in the book, and rightfully yeah. so. She was using that phone. I would have loved to yeah. actually hear that phone call. What I were some of the what, what was, were some of the first letters yeah. of the words that oh, she used? Oh, a lot of um, a lot of other words for you, but okay, um, oh, okay, you okay. freaking jerk. Okay. Um, what the frick? Things okay. like that. Yeah. Okay, fun words. Fun words. Fun, fun words. words. Yeah. Tia, I'm frick. so sorry. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. You, you didn't deserve that. Get, but did, you know what? You know what? Tia was on her phone during the date. Yeah. So yeah, Tia, get, I'm not the only one down. to blame. I maybe shouldn't have pulled the grandpa card. Gabe, okay. Did you <laughs> Did you happen it. to pay for the date? I did pay for the oh, date. Oh, Dang okay. right. Okay. All right. Dang right. Never mind, Tia. All right. Dang at least you didn't. At least you didn't leave her with the bill. Yeah. We're good. Definitely wasn't. Yeah.
Did you get a cookie? Oh, I got you yeah, a cookie, cookie for get that. Cookie. Give a teacher a cookie. Sure, Tia would have wanted a cookie. Those cookies uh, are actually really good. All right, <laughs> Lauren. Yes. This one's this one's simple, and I bet it's happened. But has a student ever had a crush on you? Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Do yes. tell. That's so adorable. Um. So uh, this was at my previous school. I had a student who would be like like on top of me all the time. Like just I could I couldn't move around the room without them being like right there. Yeah. I turn around. And, Jump because they be it's right a jump behind scare. me. Yeah, jump scare. <laughs> so, um, so the the one day they show up to class and they have one single yellow rose in their hand, and I was like, "Oh, who's that for?" And they're like, "It's for you." I was like, "Thank you so much." A gas rose station is- rose. I was like, "I love it." Like, <laughs> right. what made you want to bring me a rose? And they're like, "Because you're my wife." No. I said, no. <laughs> he he um, pulled to you. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I said, um, well, we're, we, no. <laughs> like, no. Like, no. What's your no. definition yeah, of yeah. I'm like, I don't, I don't know how to explain that to you, honey. But I'm like, no, honey, we, I'm like, I'm already married. So I can't be your wife. Yeah. Like, but I really appreciate you thinking about me. Thank you so yeah. much. Takes flower back. And yeah. then <laughs> takes it, stomps it in the ground. Right. <laughs> You're dead to me. Yeah. You're dead to me. <laughs> yeah. But like, just, that was like the the only time that like one has actually like verbalized yeah. it, but like you know, there are other times you you can tell. You can tell. Mm-hmm. You can tell. You can definitely tell. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Oh. Your cookie. You do you get a cookie. That. Give a teacher a cookie. If you give a teacher a cookie, <laughs> I'm just going to keep saying that. Yeah. <laughs> has a student in maybe your class, maybe in someone else's class, ever brought an inappropriate Valentine's Day item? Absolutely. To school? <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, and it wasn't, the kid didn't know it was inappropriate. So this was back when I was actually a substitute Mm. and I was a substitute in Texas and I worked every grade. So this was one of my elementary grades and the student had brought, um, I'm going to say mom's stuff to Mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. Yep. (laughs) That's when you throw it away. You don't say, you don't don't say it happened. Yeah. It was just like, how did you find out? Um, because the child brought it out because the child didn't know it looked like a character. Oh, okay. So yeah, like it if it like, looks like, it looked looked like, like a to- Yeah. Like a massage gun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, looked, a mas- like a massage gun it had on your like, back. Like a like a bunny? Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> no. So like the kid the kid was young enough that like the kid didn't realize that it was inappropriate. like yeah. the mm-hmm. kid genuinely Thought it was a toy, which it is. It is a toy. Um, just not that kind of That's when you just throw it away. Mm. Or whatever. So we just, I just called mom <laughs> and just was like, hey, um, I know, like, if you're free, um, we're just going to put this. Um, not back in the book bag. Not back in the back. Um, about what? And the, uh, mom was so embarrassed. Oh, yeah. Oh, mom, was, mom was like, oh, my mom God. Was, did not know what to say Mortified. and just apologize. There's really nothing was like, to say. I was like, you I mean you're an adult. Live your life. Yeah. Um just um yeah. I was like he didn't like he didn't know. I would be like right. okay um someone else gotta pick my kid up from school because I'm gonna go jump yeah, off the I'm never, like, I'm never it was coming across the bunny. Uh, uh, we have to move schools and it was well, a, son, say goodbye it was to your a classmates. moving bunny. <laughs> <laughs> okay that, no. <laughs> that's I, not getting no. any better. Oh man. Because he he it was it's a, it, it's a, yeah. No, you know what? Here's the thing. Um, yeah. Homeschooling from now on. And <laughs> never live in the house. Yeah. At Sorry. least I didn't find it during playtime. Like, he uh, brought right. it out during playtime. And, like, I, yeah. I walk over and he's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, what is, what is that that you got there? Right. Why is it? No, I'd be like, absolutely. Where did you, everyone wash your, wash your hands and put that. Throw it away. Burn this, it. <laughs> let's go to the cart. Just step away. This, yeah. <laughs> Which is one of the reasons. Yeah. That's what I, I, thought I don't in know. School. I don't know what I would do no. in that scenario because I've never had that happen to me, and I pray to God I never have that happen I'm in my awkward. class. Awkward. I don't like my face will always say. Exactly. Oh, oh yeah. My words might be like, "Yeah, this is very calm," but my face is like, "Let's all freak out." Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just I try to handle it, you know, the best way, and right. like, hey, if you could just come get your your rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> Right. <laughs> we have two options. You can come get it or I can throw it away. Or like if you could just come get <laughs> yeah. get your I know it's an investment. No, I would be like just burn uh, burn, burn it. Burn, burn it. it. 
I can you burn, burn it? it? But it, no, it, was just, <laughs> it was just very awkward, and mom was very awkward. But I'm very chill, so I feel like people can. I like most parents feel like they can be very vulnerable with me. Yeah. I don't know about that vulnerable, but <laughs> um, it was it was it was fine. Luckily, I was a sub, so I was like moving never around. Again. Like, yeah. I yeah. Will never have to speak to this woman <laughs> again. Oh my god! Just stop stubbing I, at that school altogether. <laughs> 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 Just done. But none of the kids knew what it was either. So that That's was good. if it was good. middle That's school, good. the kids yeah. would have been like, oh. <laughs> no, it's yeah. it's good. They had no idea. <laughs> like, it's better kept that way. Yeah, the yeah. kids didn't know what it was. The ki- nobody knew what it was, but the grown up and the grown up uh, was I, like, I think you a hundred percent under cookie for that one. Oh, <laughs> like, oh I'm definitely you two. definitely <laughs> under two. Two. that one. My <laughs> God, absolutely. I can just see the mom oh, being like, "Oh my God, how did Thumper get to scrub?" No! Like, no, no, the the name was Thumper. really Thumper. <laughs> No, We're that, not. Hey, that's like, Peter uh, Cottontail. Like, like, you will not name it Thumper. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm this is our sh- last like, one. Oh, it's the last tell. one. Goosebumps okay. I'm so uncomfortable right now. <laughs> <laughs> tell. Yeah. Have you ever had a thing for one of your colleagues? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I um, Spill? So, like, like colleagues is a strong word. Um, <laughs> they were, the, they were the, the school sub. Oh, okay. oh, and ooh. so, but he like, didn't come very frequently because he was like, I, I don't know if he was like at other schools as well, but like, and we were locked in our room because we were preschool. And mm-hmm. so I was taking my kids to um, the bathroom. We, we all had to line up and, and go because, you know, they can't go by them. They can't go in the halls by themselves. Okay. And I think he was teaching like a third or fourth grade class, but they were there before us. And he was like, oh, oh, you can go. You can go first. It's, it's fine. It's not a big deal. I was like, no, I'll wait. And so I'm sitting there and chatting it up with him. But I was really sick. Like, I just like, this was before COVID, obviously, yeah. where like mm. you would go to school completely sick because, you know. It was okay. Yeah. And I started having a coughing fit because he made me laugh. He didn't say anything funny, but I wanted him to think I thought he was like charming and hilarious. I yeah. started laughing and I started laughing and I started coughing. And then I tooted because I coughed myself into fit and I blamed it on the line leader. It's like, oh my gosh, Joanne, apologize. <laughs> and she's like, I, like, I gaslit gatekeep girl boss that student. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> Joanne, three year old. Yeah, it's okay that you farted, but admit it. And she's like, I didn't. I'm like, back of the line, Joanne. <laughs> he did not date me. Um, oh. Wanted nothing to do with me. And I don't know what he's doing now, but yes, I hope. And now that student that will never farted. forget that moment. No. I know that, like, there's no way I played off. That was I a probably, core like, memory for that kid. Core, core. <laughs> gotta, I'm their, I'm, I'm their trauma. Yeah. They go every they day. They talk to their they therapist talk, about you. They probably and, talk right. about it to this day. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 100%. I know like to think too that like I, I just like passed off like I did, but I know like I partuted and I can't like, I'm not one of those people who can like casually talk and like, you know, little poop, poop, and then keep going. I like every, my world stops for a second. So I was like, <laughs> every time you fart, the world stops. Yeah. Like the whole world stops and wonders, you know? <laughs> no, you got to crop dust the students and then go. <laughs> 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 no. But you gotta do oh, it. Next, like you just gotta. I didn't even know what that was. One of my teacher friends. What crop dusting? Yeah. Oh. Because she was like, yeah, I do it every day during science. Oh, I was like, God. crop dust. And I was, she was like, yeah. She was like, you know, like you pass it, you just walk yeah. and just oh, let it like gosh. flow, and they just assume it's not you. No, listen. Because the teacher would never. Fart. I, yeah, I literally, fart. I literally hold everything in and then as soon as I go to special I lock I like shut my door and I'm like oh my god I feel oh no. like I'm gonna explode <laughs> couldn't be me it's a middle it's, it's, it's a it's a, it's a preschool too. classroom you're just like wow guys don't make a big deal about the person just farted they probably feel very bad about it right now <laughs> it's me I'm the one that feels bad about it that feels bad about the, at least I don't have competitions my students used to have farting competitions oh, this and I can't still remember school. I told one of the the kids he was uh he was like Oh, I passed guys. I was like, oh, it's cool. Yours aren't as bad as the others. And he made it his duty to come in. His duty. And, <laughs> and pass the worst pa- ga- fart in the world. <laughs> oh and gosh. it took the class out. He was like, yeah, yeah, tell me my farts don't stink now. And I'm like, <laughs> that was your objective? <laughs> you probably <laughs> ate like a can of beans that Did morning. you do your like, homework? Uh, what was the objective for Did you for do your class? homework while you're over here making I can that good job? create the I nastiest <laughs> fart. I can in make the this world. so toxic. Because Ms. M said my farts aren't that bad. <laughs> so if you want to be honest, I think that. Um, this teacher's off duty episode of Valentine's Day was like chef kiss. You start with love, you end with farts. Because farts. <laughs> you know you're in love when you can fart, you in, can front fart in front yeah. of the person. Yeah, I love that. Do you want to send us off? Can you get it together for no. that? <laughs> okay, um, wait. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> 
for watching this really weird episode of Teachers <laughs> Off Duty. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you to Miss M for joining us. And you will see her for the next few weeks with us. We're super excited. So we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.